Hello and welcome everyone to yet another episode of Tech Update with Tech SMS where I used to cover all the latest tech updates happened during the span of the month in the field of DIY electronics, IoT and makers community in general which includes all the latest development boards and sensors released in the market, all the latest tech updates that were announced during this month and also all the latest interesting DIY projects that were uploaded in the span of the month and this time I also included all the latest contests and the boot camps that were announced in this month. So these all are kind of information which you must be aware about being the part of the community. So if you're interested to get all the information from a single source then make sure you subscribe this channel as I used to upload this kind of episodes every month and that being said let's start with the tech update with Tech SMS July 2021 edition. Let's get started. So the first update is coming from the Blink side. So it's about all the updates that they made for their new and advanced Blink IT platform. So which includes like there are, I think eight different updates which include like suspending user, new in modules, widgets, device action, lock permission and stuff like that. And uh, like I have a suggestion for the Blink people. Hey Blink, like do add a detailed description regarding the update. Like for example, if I go to the second update which says non-raw data streams are allowed in the model which is like like I'm not getting any information by this this reading the single line rather if I go to this update coming from the fourth one which is fetch data from multiple pins at once like like this is an amazing update so you also have provided a documentation to go through this update so like what this update about is you can request one single API link and you can get the data of multiple pins at once so with this you can save a lot of bandwidth okay so this is an amazing update to get the data of multiple pins so like if you provide this kind of documentation it will be easy for users to understand what the update about okay but doesn't matter okay i'll leave the link for this web page in the description so you can go through all the updates going to next video which is coming from such and sony youtube channel which is nothing but my own second youtube channel okay so you can subscribe the channel for all the latest you know vlogs and stuff like that but yeah doesn't matter uh, this is about a new thing new gallery that opened up in Ahmedabad in july 2021 i mean that it's an amazing place to visit so what it is it's a robotic gallery where they have uh, you know uh, put like 79 different kind of robots uh, in this gallery which are like dancing robots playing robots and like uh, assistant robot medical robots chef robots waiter robots so yeah there are quite a lot of different type of robots so like if you're planning to come to Ahmedabad Gujarat like this is the must visit place for you and this video is kind of a vlog that contains all the details like what are the ticket pricing what kind of robots you will be ex uh, like exploring like you can expect from this gallery and uh, I also provide some tips to get the best experience of this robotics gallery and the Bath Science City so this is an amazing vlog uh, you must watch this vlog before going to this robotics gallery to get the best experience yeah so that's the second update which happened during this July 2021 now uh, this is something new thing which I included in this tech update series which is the contest okay so like uh, all the different contests which are released or announced during the span of the month will also be included inside the series so this is one of them so it is coming from the circuit digest website which all the like electronics people must be aware about okay so this a content contest is called as india automation challenge so first of all let me show the prizes so the prizes to be won are the first prize will get the fifty thousand cash prize Second is 35,000 and the third is the 25,000 rupees, like Indian rupees, okay? And more uh, after that, we have more prizes, like uh, the price for the best presentation is 30,000, price for like audience choice projects is 20,000, and then we also have some pen drives and like goodies and certificates, stuff like that, okay? So these are the awesome projects to be won, like how you can win this, let me guide you that as well. So what you have to do is you need to submit your IoT automation projects uh, in the field of smart cities, energy management, uh, factory automation, smart irrigation, autonomous vehicles, anything. Okay, so you need to submit your uh, previously made project or maybe the project that you are planning to make. You just need to submit on this particular website first. You have to register it and you have to submit uh, the project. And uh, like the timeline is, uh, you need to uh, register your account by 15th of August. And the last uh, like end of submission of project is December 1st and by 
31st December the winners will be announced okay like it's kind of a longer period starting from July 8th which extended up to 31st but yeah that's the that's the competition that's the contest so make sure you submit your automation based project maybe I'll submit my project as well I don't know maybe but yeah you need to submit your project here and one thing to be noticed here is your project should be uh, should be unique it should not be copied from any other platform so yeah plagiarism in any form will not be tolerated so make sure you have a unique project of your own so yeah that's the contest so make sure you sub like apply for this contest if you have some amazing unique project straight away next is also one contest coming from murtaza's workshop youtube channel okay so this is the contest for all the computer vision guys like those who have worked with the computer vision ai machine learning maybe and uh, those kind of technologies so what's this contest about is uh so first of all yeah this is the prize to be won so it's a mbot mega robot from the make blog so yeah what you have to make is you will be provided this kind of video uh, this is the video let me just play it so this is a video like a drone captured video of all the cars lying in the parking maybe okay so what you have to do is you have to make an algorithm it can be any algorithm you just need to make an algorithm to detect each of the car uniquely make a box around it and give a unique id to those cars okay so you have to make that kind of project and after making that project you need to submit your project video and and the and the logic or the concept or the algorithm that you use you have to submit that as well okay it's last date is uh okay it's eight days left to go so today is 30th july so maybe like 7th august is the last day to you know apply for this competition or the contest so you have very limited time so if you're interested in this if you know some better algorithms to detect it quite smoothly quite easily quite fast you can definitely apply for this contest as well Next update is coming from Belk IoT. It's one of my friend Sai Prakash Belkari. Now this is not a contest. This is a boot camp. Okay, so Belk IoT already conducted one similar workshop or the boot camp previously, where they started, you know, learning IoT from very scratch to some advanced level, like controlling the appliances with the help of the Relay module. So that kind of uh, uh, IoT boot camp is organized again. Uh, it's an August batch. Okay, so if you want to learn, uh, first of all, it is free of cost. So if you want to learn. IoT from very basic up to a decent level, you can join this uh, Belk IoT Bootcamp. Uh, it's uh, here, like you have to submit this particular fill up this particular form. So go ahead, apply it if you want to learn it from very basic. It's a very limited seat, I think. So, so yeah, that's that's the Bootcamp. This is announced during this month only. So yeah, that was all the new update. Now, uh, next is latest products that are released in this month so i must say m5 stack has a lot of new products that are lined up and that are announced during this july month only i doubt whether they are like making money like how they are making money with this all the latest products because like they are releasing back to back like every month i used to see a new product but i didn't find any particular video project product using those particular uh that their components or their products okay but yeah maybe they have some different business tactics i don't know but yeah we our task is to get uh, information about what new things are released so first of all this rfid connector is released for using this m5 atom next is like i doubt what is this this is again an m5 atom extension because as you can see f5 atom is attached here but what it is is it a printer or what they they haven't announced the name they are just announced that tease this images they haven't announced it is not yet for sales they have just posted images of it but what it is like is it a printer i don't know but yeah these are the two new things uh they have announced now it's not just these two products they have way more products announced during this month so second is this uh, atom hdmi so another m5 atom based extension for hdmi connector and they also posted one video in which they have connected uh, the hdmi cable directly to this tv like but what kind of applications we can make using it maybe we can play some basic games on like which we can visualize on tv i i don't know what's the application of this but yeah they have uh, posted the image of this i don't think this is yet for sale but yeah they have announced this uh, as well on the twitter account and yet another update still coming from m5 stack which is this 
POE camera like the lot of products they are announcing so this is power over ethernet camera where we just need to connect the ethernet cable to give the power and to get the data as well uh, we can get the data of this particular camera feed okay so this is get another product they have announced like by M5 stack and one more product which is Atom U like I literally don't know what is this product about because they haven't posted any of the uh, details of Atom U they are just teasing us by like back to back posting the images okay so yeah yeah, these are all kind of products but yeah we still have one more product for m5 tech which is this particular lcd unit display now that is a product for sale so you can just see all the details description so it is basically an i2c base display with an 11.4 inch sorry 1.14 inch uh, lcd display which you can connect with any of your microcontroller that supports i2c supports i2c communication and display all the things all the images data onto this particular display okay so yeah that kind of new product is released so these were all the different products that were announced during this july month by m5 stack moving on to the next company with the new product which is lilico so if you are watching this like uh, tech update series uh, uh, from long you must be aware about like lilico previously announced a similar watch but with the thinner like smaller display but this time they have announced the similar uh, wrist e-paper smart watch with a very big display as you can see like the, the girl's hand is completely covered with that display so it's again an e-paper based uh, uh, display and it's a smart watch maybe based on esp32 not sure about it but i think so it is a esp32 board so yeah they have announced this as well it's not yet for sale but yeah they have posted the images of that particular watch seems interesting i'll definitely go for it when it comes to the market next update is again from lilico they have made their own controller modules based on esp32 c3 chip okay which name is given as t32 c3 module okay so it's not yet for sale but yeah they have announced it on their twitter account okay so that's a new product again one new product coming from the lilico which is a raspberry pi maybe shield you can say okay so it's a display shield for raspberry pi pico board you must be aware about the raspberry pico board which is announced a couple of months back okay so that's a shield for it okay it's again from the lilico company so these are all the new boards released in this particular month so moving on to the next update it is coming from hey this is the project time so guys now i will let you know all the latest interesting very interesting projects that were made in this july month so first project is coming from the hexter io which is the raspberry pi based parking lot monitor like maybe this kind of project already made previously but i came to know about this project in this month only that's why i included in this particular session and it's a very interesting useful project let me just uh, give you a glimpse so imagine you have a society and uh, you have a limited parking slot and uh, what you do is you create a database of uh, the number plate of different different cars of different different owners of the society of the like houses in the society okay so you create a database of it and after that you create this project based on raspberry pi board and the camera module which scans the number plate of all the incoming cars and if that number plate if the number of that car matches with the database then and then only the gate will open up and it will let the car enter to that society so that's kind of one of the application which uh, can be uh which can be made using this particular project okay so that's an interesting useful project which is made with a very simple component like the raspberry pi and the raspberry pi camera that's it so yeah that's the raspberry pi based parking lot monitor interesting project to be made second project uh, is coming from let's see it's coming from robotics kanti this is a nice looking project as you can see it is a human eye kind of thing in which the camera is fitted in between the eyeball and it is moving through with the help of the servo motor okay and it is directly connected with the tv to see the footage of it okay so i don't think if like i don't think i'll be making this project but it looks very great looks very futuristic looks very robotics okay so i kind of love this particular 3d printed eyeball and the camera fitted in it it's super interesting so you should check it out it's it's a nice project to see at least and if you are interested you can make it as well next project is coming from rd no so see first of all let me tell you whole story so rd no tweeted uh, like uh, at back like starting of this month he tweeted this video which is about Heineken, Heineken maybe I'm not wrong. Heineken bot, which is a robot that follows you, which has a like a, 
cold storage container and uh, it will follow you wherever you go okay so it has also a video like if i go to the official heineken website uh, its name is heineken boat and uh, if i see like uh, okay so here is that youtube video which say uh, which uh, will uh, show you the demonstration as you can see she is moving and the bot is moving just below it and and like they have given the full form of this bot as let me just play this video the full form of the bot is beer outdoor transporter okay so it's a beer company that's why they name it like that okay so what you can do is you can store beer inside the cold container and you can just walk around and the robot will follow you with the chilled beer inside it okay but one question is like why arduino posted this like is it a paid promotion <laughs> i don't think so it's a paid promotion like the reason arduino posted is just because couple of uh, months back maybe years back uh, two of guys made a similar project using arduino and that's why arduino posted it okay so that this is the project that they made so here as you can see there is a similar kind of board that follows this girl okay but they have used quite a different technology as compared to that heineken bot okay uh, this guy like a project guy used gps and while the heineken used uh, uh image recognition and machine learning to follow the particular person okay that kind of a different technology they have used but yeah the project purpose is similar you don't need to carry this container just push the container inside the robot and it will follow you along okay like couple of months or maybe years like i also decided like thought of making a similar project but for this suitcase for the brave cases like we can go to the airports and railway station and a brave case will follow us along okay so i thought of making that project using ble but i didn't find ble to be a better option rather uh, today i find that uh, ultra wide band technology will be the best option to make the similar project okay so like if you guys know any of the prototyping board based on the ultra wide band technology do drop your uh, what you can say suggestion or the link of that particular board into the description i will definitely uh, uh, i definitely want to learn or rather use this ultra wide band technology for this project it's an amazing project to be made okay so yeah that's the project coming from the arduino side next project is coming from tech sms like see like i'm not self promoting myself but this is something that everyone should be aware about it's that interesting project like if you haven't uh, saw that video of mine let me just show you the uh, project which i made so it's about ar plus iot only but this time what i did is i just eliminated the touch screen you don't need to use the touch screen of the smartphone to control appliances rather you can touch the buttons floating in the air to control the appliances just look at this project like here just touching the buttons in the air to control the project this is an amazing concept of ar plus iot and like that's why i included in this tech update series like i'm not self promoting okay so yeah that's a project you should uh, be aware about that's why i included next and the last project is coming from again sachin sony that's the secondary youtube channel of mine and this is again a concept of ar business card okay so i made a reel or short video where uh, as you can see this is my youtube uh, business card and as we, as i just uh, saw and like uh, uh, put my camera a smartphone camera on this business card i used to see much more detailed information like who is the owner image of the owner its website link its instagram like facebook link and also an introductory video so all pops up immediately the card is shown to the camera okay so this is an amazing concept for ar business card which i like uploaded on to my uh, secondary youtube channel like if you insist me if you want to really to make it i like maybe i can make a tutorial video for my, on my main channel just just go on to this uh, youtube channel and comment down below if you really want a tutorial for it okay so yeah that was all about the tech update uh, happened in the month of july 21 i hope you find it interesting i hope you enjoyed it i hope you got to know something new from it like if is it so consider liking this video also share this video with the, your friends or who you think must be aware about these different different technologies or maybe you can share a particular time frame of this video whose like time stamp i will be attaching below so particular time stamp for a particular update you can share that uh, time frame as well to your friend so that they can learn about that particular update only okay so yeah that was all about this video and uh, make sure to subscribe the channel for more such tech update videos and also i used to make quite a lot of dev project onto this channel so if maybe if you are new to this channel you can consider subscribing for learning new projects as well and that being said i am just ending this video here and now just wait for my next video to explore learn share with me techie sms